Hi, hey everybody, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from Japan. This actually came from Sugoi Mart, that's S-U-G-O-I-M-A-R-T dot com. Get all sorts of really neat, out of the way Japanese products, instant ramen being one of them. This is Peyang uh, Yakisoba Hell curry check him out he looks like ticked off don't eat my curry don't eat it it's hell it's gonna be hell I'm gonna eat it so we got a pot we got the dry stuff sachet Dump in there. Not a lot of it. We've got the noodle. And this goes for three minutes. I'm going to give it a little flippy flip. Come on. Get going. Get going with you. Weird sounds outside, revving things. Yeah, what's that noise, Mimi? I'm I'm confused. There we go. Slapping a lid on it. Slap a lid on it. Uh! And then once it's done, the hell. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Is the hell. That is not the sound of her putting blocks in the block box, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think I think I set the bar too high. It's okay. She's four. Easily, easily sidetracked. Put the blocks in the block box, Mimi. Please. Okay. Please. Thank you. Like stay on task. That's what I wanted to learn is focus. She's four. That's probably a real losing proposition. You're not five. You're four, stinker. You'll be five on your birthday in December. You're getting there. And there's only five days till you get to go to school. Ooh. Yeah. She's like, I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna ditch you, old man. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna go to school and have fun and do whatever I want because I'm a cute little girl. Don't, don't let her get away with murder. Just watch. We'll see. I hope not. I don't know. His teachers are pretty solid. They're really, really nice too. They. Uh, it's funny because it's like, there were aspects, despite probably a million parents are going to be like, dude, you don't even know what you're talking about, did you? But I, I honestly do. There, there were aspects about distance learning that I absolutely loved. I got to hear what my kids were being taught. I got to hear what they were working on and then incorporate that into stuff we did for the rest of the day. It was nice. It was really nice. Got to learn all the songs, all that good stuff. And now it's just like, how was your day? Yes. <laughs> it was a day. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you, did you do math? Yes. Did you go bungee jumping? Yes. That's, that's basically what I get. So. No, no bungee jumping at school. It was a, it was a joke. It was a joke. This stuff is done. Drain time. Usually you use the lid. It's got a, it's got a spout on the lid and you drain with that. 
Also, this is going to be a mukbang. I am not going to taste it on this episode. I will taste it on the episode that's after this. This is on at a no not normal time. This is on at 1, uh, 1 p.m. The episode will be on, well, the mukbang will be on at 2 p.m. And I will say right now, I'm generally not a big fan of Peyang Yaki Soba, although review number 4,000 will be that in mass quantity. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got all this Yaki Soba. That's like the Peyang Yaki Soba, which also, by the way, came from Sugoi Mart. I need to do that like maybe this weekend, this upcoming weekend. It's a lot of food. There's no way, well, my wife can only eat like a little bit of noodles or she gets like nauseated. And uh, there's like a warning. It's like, don't eat all this yourself. Pretty sure it has like a pound of sodium in it. Whoa, that's got a funky scent to it. Lucky me. That's a lot of yakisoba right there. And this isn't even like a jumbo one. The one I did for number 3000 was a jumbo one and it had like four of this size block. Pretty sure. And then the one that I've got for a review 4000. Well, I'll show you actually here. It's right here. So, here's the standard size of one of these Peyang Yakisoba. The, the, or it's more like that because that's how their single serving is. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. This is the size of a Cheerios box. I mean, it's freaking huge. But. I just need to get it done. I don't, I don't know. I'm like putting it off and it's like, I need to like just get her done and have number 4,000 done. But I want to do it right. I want to do a really good video and I want to do a really good review. Ooh. All right, we got our yakisoba done. That just smells funk though. I'm not at all enthused about this one, I gotta be honest. It's just a big mountain of yakisoba. It's got some veggies in it though, it might not be bad. I am gonna add some spring onion to it. Cause I just, I don't have any more spring onion. That's that's a bad thing. I gotta go to the store tonight. I have no choice. That I, I can work without mung bean sprouts, but working without spring onion, that's like that stops me dead in my tracks. There you are. That's what you get. There's the garnish. Spring onion. Wow. This is gonna be brutal. Alright, time to eat. Watch in an hour. Bye.